the Aquatech show has grown enormously. We have more than 850 Hi. exhibitors. Hello, uh, in this in these seven halls. You're one of them. Yes, you actually am. one. Uh, you're here for the first time. Yes, exactly. Just before we get into that a little bit more, can you tell us a little bit about your company, Aquavola Tech? Exactly, Aquavola Technologies do? is a water treatment company for a removal of oil and suspended solids in a very efficient way for different applications with a like very low energy um, consumption for oily wastewater, for example, or industrial wastewater, also seawater desalination and the okay. other hard to treat waters. And where are you from? I'm from Berlin, Germany. Germany. Mm -hmm. And your company, do you operate mainly in, in Germany or already all over the world? We are a very international company, so I think we have 10 different nationalities in our team. We are based in Berlin um, and have some, some projects in Germany, but um, we are working very internationally all over Europe and also in um, Asia and North America. I'm, I'm just a bit surprised that you're listed as the founder and CTO of yes. this company, but uh, to give you a big compliment, you look very young. Well, I mean, how old you. is the company? <laughs> uh, our, tech, uh, our company is three years old now. Okay, so you're really a stock. Well, just yeah, start you could yeah, you could say a startup, startup. Uh, yeah. spin-off from a university. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and you were doing your research there, or my how, colleague how did was that doing um, his PhD thesis about uh, sustainable water treatment for desalination, and I started working for him as a student, and then we uh, developed this fantastic process together. And after we both finished. And we just thought, okay, let's, let's go on. Let's take it to market. And, and then just for our viewers who actually do know, uh, understand what you're talking about, can you explain a little bit about this process and why it's so innovative? Yes, we use uh, ceramic materials. Ah, uh, we just were talking about that. Oh, really? Yes. So for uh, it's a combination of flotation and filtration, and it can can remove um, oil and suspended solids from quite high concentrations to basically zero because of the uh, ceramic membrane and it's, uh, can be applied in harsh chemical environments uh, because um, the material cannot be destroyed basically. Exactly. Wow, powerful. And uh, Angela was just making a comment that, that this, this ceramic membranes or filters is, is identified as a disruptor, as a trend, yes. but she said it's very expensive still. Do, do well, um, it is more expensive than the polymeric membranes, but uh, you, you see a trend. Um, so we tracked the price over the last years and you see it going down every year and um, you shouldn't only look at the price per square meter but maybe for the price it's per the treated entire, water uh, exactly, and the there's so much case. more going through the membranes then uh, in the end they are not more expensive. Well exciting, now let's get back to the show because you're decided after three years as a startup to go exhibit at the Aquatech. Yes. What, what, what's the main reason to do that? Yeah, I, th I think um, Aquatech is uh, the leading show for innovation um, known all over the world. And uh, yeah, so that's the, the perfect uh, to place be to be. Yes. Yeah. And, and we, we were here for uh, as visitors two years ago. And uh, we really liked it, and now we we came back with an own booth. And and what kind of expectations do you have of the next few days? Of course, we want to close deals and meet end customers with real problems in their wastewater treatments. Um, but we also want to create um, awareness for our Aquaflow technology to make it more known, more popular. So uh, well, the fact that you came on here just gave you a huge podium. <laughs> How, how's it going so far? And uh, the, this day till now, did you have a, a few good meetings? Yes. Definitely, they are coming. Uh, people coming by f very, very different uh, backgrounds, different nationalities, different applications, and yeah, Good. it's great. And nice. also our like um, advisory board it was senior levels and veterans, water web veterans. They they told us you 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 sh have to go exactly. you have to right. show everyone. Well, nice. Do you have any time to check out any of the seminar programs or education on the show floor? Or is it just I will booth I will definitely meetings? do that. My colleague was at, the, at one seminar this morning, and so yeah. I will do that later. Cool. Well, <laughs> yeah, because that's what the show is all about, right? It's not about only about doing business. It's mainly about doing business. <laughs> but obviously, you get the latest and the greatest at the show here as well. I'm starting to look around because uh, we have some <laughs> tight schedule. We're live. I'm not sure if my next guest is ready here yet, uh, and he's not, I see. So that means we're going in pro on this one. We're going to okay. follow <laughs> you and actually have a look around in the trade show floor. 
let's get the camera and uh, look around at some of these uh, displays. Joanne, thank you very much for being here. It was nice I to meet you, thank yes, you. Yes, I wish you a very good show and uh, I hope you spread the word about Aquatech, about Aquatech TV. All these videos can be watched back in the YouTube channel and um, well, enjoy the show. I will, thank All you. All right, well, let's go out. We'll be back, as I promised. Don't, don't, don't be sad. We'll be back in the studio in a little bit where Leonard Silvers is coming. He's the chairman of the I Amsterdam International Water Week. And you can understand that his schedule is very, very full. So uh, we have to wait till he's here. But that doesn't matter. We can just go around and see what's happening here. We talked about membranes. We talked about... Let's, let's, let's see here. Um, I think if we're talking wastewater, this is the place where we should look. Now, I don't want to interrupt. Please continue the conversation. We're just going to listen in, if you don't mind. Because, um, oh, you're done anyway. In, 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 in English, we're live, Aquatech TV. Here's the business card transition. There we go. That's what this show is all about, right? What a nice business card. Okay, here we go. But um, let's explain a bit. What, what are we looking at right here? We are looking at uh, Cinerelta. It's a new concept for wastewater treatment. It costs less energy and it, is, uh, it, and it also has a, a low uh, footprint. So it's a new development and innovation for the, the, the wastewater treatment plant of the future. Ah, that's good news because we're making a show about wastewater. So Very let's good. go a little bit more in depth. What, what are we looking at this demo? What is, what is this? Well, this explain. Uh, demo is, this is uh, the conventional way of wastewater treating. But this so is a model, right? A model. This so is all what model. is this? Talk us through. Uh, this is a pre-settling tank and uh, the, the, the activation the sludge uh, system and the final uh, clarifiers yeah and it costs a lot of surface uh, a large footprint and over here we have a system that's the Cinerelta concept the new system the yeah. new system and what's new is that we use the granules uh, that we can uh, grow um, anamox bacteria in granules so that is also very uh, compact and yeah. with a uh, low uh, uh, footprint and low uh, energy here you have an, uh, an, a, an A stage uh, with uh, a little bit activated sludge and a settling. And then you have the Anamox um, uh, reactor in which a very efficient way of uh, converting ammo of, uh, nitrogen from ammonia to um, an, uh, nitrogen gas. Okay. So, and that's, uh, so the main benefits are less space, less space and more le efficient. Less uh, energy and uh, more efficient. Well, nice. Well, I wish you a lot of interest in this innovation lab. We're going to go around because there's so many booths, as you can see. Okay. It's kind of, thank you very much. Okay. It's, it's kind of like a museum. Let's see what happens here. There's, there's a, a porta potty here. Yeah. And I, uh, Dave, Dave, what is happening at the porta potty? Why is, is this the Aquatech public bathroom? No, unfortunately <laughs> it's not, unless you want to clean it yourself. No, this is just our way of showing people how we can let's use... Show, let's show our viewers. We're live in Aquatech. Stay here, eh? sorry to interrupt. We Dave can, is doing we business. Can show the viewers how we utilize their waste products to generate sustainable energy. And is this literally a product for porta potties No, no, no. Okay. We've just we're just using this for advertising purposes. All right. So uh, can you tell us a little bit how it works? What, what is the innovation well, here? Well, the innovation is that in wastewater, in, in sewage, we don't only recover the sludge to be able to produce biogas, but there are very other very, very there are other very important um, uh, things in that wastewater. Resources, yeah. Resources like phosphates. Like, like so. So what is happening here? Well, this is a, a system where urine is being treated to create phosphate um, uh, pellets. That phosphate is used in the um, fertilizer industry is uh, the, the, the world uh, store, the world reserves of phosphate um, is, is, is diminishing. It's going to finish at some stage. So we're going to need phosphate from another uh, Exactly, we need new resource. resources. And that is what is happening here. And is this, is, is this scalable? I mean, this is kind of a lab setting. Yeah, how yeah, how yeah, large yeah, can we implement it? Um, this is also done on a large scale at Walternet. Okay, so water then at the Amsterdam uh, w uh, water exactly, facilities. Yes. And once one water board starts um, finding out how these techniques work and how we can also utilize. What, it, what are you showing? What are you showing? What is this? this these, these are the pellets which come out of the urine. This is phosphate. Is this a, a consumer product or no, is this no, a demo uh, no. package? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But good. you can use it, for example, in the fertilizer industry. Exactly. 
Now, once we get techniques are um, employed and uh, improved, then of course the, the gateway is open for other water authorities to use the same techniques. Exactly. And what we are, the energy uh, and uh, resources factory, we are just all the water authorities together trying to pick out one of our own installations which we can convert into an energy factory, which means that we're not only producing enough energy to cover the demands of the plant itself, but we can also supply energy to the national to grid, the net. Super. either in the form of electricity or possibly in the form of green gas. All right. that will be the next step. Well, Dave, thank you very much you're for welcome. this brief explanation. I hope, yes, your uh, your guest is still here. Thank yes. you very much for waiting. She well, left me her car, Vanessa, if I may ask you, you're here. You have a, a pink uh, uh, lanyard, right? I do. Which means you're a visitor. Where, yes. where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Toronto, Canada, but I actually just moved to Den Haag last oh, month. Oh, you're actually so this is a national yes. national day for you. Exactly. Um, what made you come to the Aquatech show? So I'm actually pursuing opportunities in the water and wastewater sector um, in business development and I thought Aquatech would be the best place for me to meet the m biggest potential uh, number of companies, the coolest innovations, and this is my first day here, and it really has been. And has it, has it met your expectations so far? Yeah, it's actually exceeded my expectations, because the building is kind of very subtle, but once you enter, you're just kind of overwhelmed by Super. all the kind of exhibitions happening so I don't even know if I'll be able to see everything that I want you to gotta come back days. in the next days exactly yeah well take the opportunity to say bye to your colleagues we're live <laughs> Aquatech TV thank you <laughs> bye she's actually here she's not shopping in the city center <laughs> well done